Good morning, YouTube. It is 5.39 on this Friday. Uh, made it to the end of another week. Good job. Um, let's see here. Today's topic is the, uh, the Kepler 452B. Way too early. Or that Higgs chromosome is space, the electrons like the magnetism of particles and momentum to receptors radiation our mathematics a solution asteroid what am i doing up um so kepler 452b uh this is a planet uh nasa made an announcement uh last week actually that um the kepler uh space telescope which is one of our um very expensive, very high-powered telescopes, has been looking around, and um, I think <sighs> I think it's part of this endeavor to uh, find life, uh, alien life on another planet. Uh, the best way to do that is to find one that resembles our planet, because we know life exists here. Let's say we find another planet that resembles our planet, and most likely there should be life that exists there. So they've been looking for uh, planets in this Goldilocks zone, which is, you know, a certain size star or various size stars uh, a certain distance away from that star uh, to account for where water is liquid. Um, and, uh, huh. Huh. not too hot that the water vaporizes and not too cold that the water freezes. Um, so in this Goldilocks zone, they've been looking around for these, uh, planets and they've, they've found several a thousand, <laughs> um, but nothing, you know, either they're close to the outer edge of the, of the zone, the Goldilocks zone, and therefore... Their water's a little more frozen, or to the front edge of that Goldilocks zone, so their water's a little, uh, a little more vaporized. Um, most, you know, all the planets that we find are sort of at the extremes of that zone, and so yeah, we found one in the zone, but um, may not be as, uh, as. Uh, <sighs> The chances of life there are still kind of minimal because um, they're not quite like the Earth. We're trying to find something very Earth-like. So uh, Kepler-452b um, is sort of smack dab in that zone as opposed to, you know, on the close side or on the far side. Um, and so this is important. The, the, the sun that... Um, the sun that it rotates around is kind of like ours. Um, it rotates at a distance from its sun similar to how Earth is as far away as our sun. Uh, what other similarities? So the light intensity is about... Uh, it's a little brighter than ours, uh, than, the, than the light intensity here. But still fairly close. It the, this planet is is a little bigger. Uh, the the diameter of this planet is sixty percent larger than the diameter of Earth. Uh, that equates to about five times more massive. Um, let's see what else. Uh, da, 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 uh, you know, not sure. If we're not going to be going to visit this place. It's fourteen thousand light years. 14,000, 1,400 light years away from us. Still in the Milky Way galaxy. Uh, so it's a close neighbor, but um, still kind of far away. So, uh, yeah, so it's it's actually really exciting to, to find another planet uh, very similar to ours. The, this planet has been in its uh, Goldilocks zone, um, I forget how many millions of years, but longer than the Earth has been around. So there's good good potential good possibility that that there is life on this planet there's gonna we believe there's a thick atmosphere uh it's supposed to have water um it's got cloud cover and whatnot 
and so it, it resembles us so much and we think it's been there for so long that uh, we do think that well we're hoping <laughs> that there's life on this planet um, <clears throat> they're still looking at data and I'm sure they're gonna gather more data uh, to try and figure out <clears throat> slowly but surely piece together this um, this puzzle to see if there is life there um, uh, yeah I mean it, it's kind of cool it's the first time that we found something so earth-like so um, again the others um, are a bit small oh the the number of days in the year it's similar to our uh, it's like a, it's like two more days than we have in our year I mean the, there's so many similarities it's it's a little uncanny but um, and again we're hoping that that gives us the best chances of finding life there so that's that was the big excitement in the announcement um, okay anything else I can say about that uh, we should be hearing more as they pull more data um, again this is the effort to find life not necessarily to find uh, it's it's not gonna be you know five times more massive I was thinking about that I, I think that means the gravity is gonna be about five times our gravity uh, so we'd be really heavy if we got there but um, like I said we do think that there's life there uh, the the intensity from the Sun and the fact that, that there should be an atmosphere um, we should see life if we took our plants and we put them over there um, we expect our plants to grow there so uh, living conditions should be tolerable again I'm not sure about I'm not sure about the gravity question there I think if it's five times more massive the, the gravity is five times more but um, due to that it might be that life is really small so possibly very different but anyway all right I gotta head into work you gotta go do whatever it is you do um, we'll talk to you on Monday have a good weekend